Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, a real fast one, a way to see everything with just the stroke of a key. I found this one by chance because I was trying to wake up my wireless mouse. So let me show you what I did and we'll dive into the DAW. Usually when you wake up your wireless mouse, you just kind of give it a wiggle like this. And on my Mac, it actually just explodes the pointer. But when I was also waking it up, I right clicked and I right clicked in a very particular spot. And that was here on the timeline. If you right click on the timeline, you get this menu where you have a lot of different options like activating and deactivating your loop, loop follow selection, and something else that really caught my eye. This one right here, fit timeline to contents. Now, what is this? This is a really handy little thing. Right now, I'm zoomed in on this guitar. I'm actually just gonna use the E key and zoom in a bit more. Now, let's say you're running through a lot of edits and you kinda wanna get back to the big picture of everything that's going on within your session. What you can do is you can right click and hit fit timeline to contents. And now this is the very start of my event and the very end of my event and it fits the entire window from left to right. It's not showing me all of my tracks, but it's showing me the entire waveform or the event from left to right. It would do the same thing if you had a lot of little events as well from the very first event to the very last event. Maybe you don't already have it bounced or consolidated like this and you have all of your edits in there. If you fit the timeline to the content, then you'll be able to see your first event and your last event. And because it's Studio One, you can jump right into your keyboard shortcuts. And if you start typing fit timeline, here it is. Fit timeline to content. Now I went ahead and used control A on my Mac, but you can map it to whatever you find useful in your workflow. And then at the hit of that key, boom, you can see everything that's going on from left to right inside your track. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.